Hi there, this is Adele from Naked Divorce. Um, so I wanted to answer one of the questions that we received on our website. So the question was, why is it hard to cope with a breakup? Okay, so yeah, for many, many reasons, but I'm gonna try and keep it simple and focus on what I would consider the top five reasons why it's hard to cope with a breakup. So first things first is, I think it's the feeling of your future being stolen away from you. You know, you, um, however long you were in a relationship with somebody, you began to plan things together for the future. And, you know, you knew what you were gonna do in your next vacation or weekend or, you know, next year, and maybe you had some plans into the future. And suddenly, all those future plans have ev evaporated. And it's just a sense of nothingness. And that nothingness feeling is really because we think that how we feel in any given moment is given by the things that have happened to us in the past. But it's actually not that, it's actually the future that we're living into. If we don't have excitement and enthusiasm about the future that we're living into, it can really make us feel a bit sad or blah or something in the present. So that lack of future that you're living into can really make a breakup hard. And it's one of the big things to kind of focus on is to begin to you know, plan some things that you could be doing that you can get excited by to help you feel a bit better about the present moment. So that would be the first reason. The first thing is that feeling of really being unstabilized. So when you go through a breakup, it's a real shock event. And um, when we experience shock as human beings, our body releases a lot of adrenaline and cortisol and those kind of chemicals hormones and neurotransmitters cruising around in our body destabilize us. They make us feel all over the place. And um, that feeling can drive us to be a bit emotional and crazy. So one minute you're crying, the next minute you're camping out on your ex's lawn and then you're stalking them on Facebook. You know, all those kind of crazy feelings and very destabilizing feelings are a normal part of reactions to trauma and the healing journey. So your routine goes out the window. Maybe you feel like you can't function, you can't think straight. What do I do now on a Friday night? Um, you know, what do I like? You know, a lot of people that we work with, they tell us, well, I don't even know what I like. I, I have always only ever thought about the two of us. What do I like? What makes me happy? And all those kind of stolen, you know, routines and, and moments, um, you know, that you, you no longer have this future to live into and now you don't know what to do with yourself, it can make us feel very destabilized. And here I would say a critical thing to focus on is two things. Number one, focus on your nutrition and kind of cutting out sugar and uh, lots of chemicals from your diet because that can make the destabilizing feeling even more hectic. Second thing is definitely implement a grounded routine into your life. So have things that you're doing morning, noon and night um, that ground you, that make you feel better, that feel kind of healthy for you. That'll really help that feeling. The next reason why it's hard to cope with a breakup is really that feeling of a lack of support. Um, it's interesting. There was a lot of kind of studies done in the past 10 years and what they really showed was that a bereavement is often easier to cope with than the relationship failure feeling, like a, the failure of a, a relationship or a divorce. And that's because a relationship breaking down feels like a failure. It's like something we're not supposed to fail at. We're supposed to have got this right. We're supposed to have been good at this. Whereas you can't cheat death. You know, if somebody died, um, community is really rallies around. They bring around the casseroles. They're, they're there to support you and be there for you. The minute you go through a relationship failure, everybody kind of runs um, for the heels. They don't want to be around failure and they want you to move on as quickly as possible. So that lack of understanding and support makes people around you say stupid things like they could seem almost unempathetic. You know, there's lots of fish in the sea or let me introduce you to this next person so that you can move on quickly. Um, you know, let's all go out and, and, you know, find you someone else quickly. And that push and pressure can feel very unsupportive. Um, and I think that also makes a, a breakup really hard for many people. 
The next thing that I would say is that real um, feeling that you've been thrown out of a social club. So for many people, they they lose like friends or social life that they had before. You know, if you socialize with a couple, maybe a lot of your friends were couple friends. And suddenly now that you're, you're single, you don't know what to do with yourself. Well, I'm no longer a couple friend. Now we have to start again with finding single friends and having different things to do. And I think that is quite hard for people to cope with, is that feeling of alienation and being thrown out of the social club. And here again, I think it's part of that having a future to live into. If you focus hard on filling your life with things that you know, are positive and enlivening and you know, introduce you to some new people and give you some new experiences, then that will really help you to cope with the breakup that you've just had. And I think, you know, another point of why breakups are so hard to cope with is alienation and kind of loneliness. So that's a little bit different to the social club. It's just not knowing what to do with yourself over specific days of the week. I think mornings are often quite difficult for people because that's, you know, you'd be waking up with somebody. Friday nights are quite difficult. Sunday nights are really difficult for people. And here again, you know, back to the other points, it's about planning and preparation. You need to plan in advance what you're going to do. Because otherwise, if you drift into a weekend, you're drifting into another moment of possibly feeling really low and having a kind of depression hit you. So I think those are really the reasons why I think breakups are so hard to overcome. And distinct from other kinds of traumas and bereavements, you can feel quite alienated and unsupported in your community. So if you're feeling like that, make sure that you reach out and get some support. You don't need to be alone going through this journey. And if you are struggling, don't feel like suffering is somehow your cross that you need to bear. There's nothing enlightened about that. So get support, get some coaching, get some therapy um, so that you can move on and have a great life. So if there's anything else you want to kind of ask, feel free to ask us questions on our website and I hope that that helped you.